Drunk hallucinations. He, he called you guys for no reason. Do you want us to talk to him? He's 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 seeing stuff that's not there. You you, do you think you need an ambulance? The, every time I take him to the hospital, yeah, so they release him. That's all. Yeah. That's all they do. They're here now, ma'am. It's fine. No, at the 1016 or 32. What? I mean, is he just drunk or is he? He's having or? alcohol withdrawal hallucinations. He was a severe alcoholic. He hasn't had alcohol in four days. He's going through hallucinations from withdrawal. He's not being violent right No, now. he's just seeing stuff that's not there and then hearing voices in his head. Okay. So like, if, if you guys want to take him in for an evaluation, you're more than welcome to. Do you think it's necessary? Do you think he just needs to... I think he needs help, yes, because he, he's seeing stuff that's not there to the point where he's then called 911 saying there's guns. Well, if you want us to come in and talk to him, we, we're more than happy. Where's he at? He's in his bedroom on the way back. What's his name? Uh, Earl. Earl? It's the police. You call us, my man? You need some help? Huh? You need an ambulance? North, North 28, Second Street. 48. What? 248, North 8th Street. 24. Uh, Someone get the phone. What's happening, my man? Do you know where you're at right now, man? Home. Where's home? The premise of one of the four gentlemen. You know where home is? North 25th. Stay here with me. We're here, buddy. Stay here, but you're not on North 25th. You know who the president is? You know what year it is, bud? Yeah. Let's start okay. with this. Do you know what uh, your name is? Can you uh, give us that? Earl, uh, Tony. Earl, uh, hold on. Earl, uh, what's your last name? Mm. 
What's going on with you, my man? I'm gonna have an ambulance come check you out, my man. Make sure you're okay. <laughs> Looks like you're having some kind of problem. Very peaceful music. Hey, Earl, who's that female out there? <sighs> Who is she to you? <laughs> Family? Well, she's worried about you, my man. She said you've been struggling a little bit. You've been trying to get off the the booze a little bit, and that shit ain't easy, cold turkey, man. It's messing you up real bad right now. What's up, bud? Yeah, I'll give you some water. Yeah. yeah. Hey, do you, can you get some water? He's sweating like crazy and he's. He's going through alcohol withdrawals. How long does he drink? He's very heavy. He goes through probably like three or four fists a day plus beer. And he, he's trying to go sober. He hasn't had alcohol in three days. So since he ain't had alcohol in three days, he hasn't slept in three days. And this is what he goes through. It's, it's psychosis from alcohol withdrawals. He, he hallucinates. I would imagine if he was that heavy of a drinker. Yeah. You want to take it to him or you want yeah. to take it? multiple times and try to get him held at least on a psych evaluation and they tell me they can't hold him against his will. So they released him as soon as if we had it happen three times. I took him to St. John's twice. I took him to Memorial. Memorial actually kept him overnight but then released him in the morning and said nothing's wrong with him. That they don't see any, any issues. <laughs> I've called Gateway. Gateway didn't return my phone calls because I was trying to get him on inpatient and mm -hmm. Gateway didn't. Like, well, they're waiting. Their wait list is stupid. I mean, the hospitals... And he's got insurance, so, I mean, and he, yeah. he wants to get sober. That's the problem. It's just the fighting the demons in his head when he gets sober. <laughs> Have you... I mean, I know it's easier said than done. Have you looked at any nearby places that aren't Gateway in Springfield? Um, they called me. Like, him. My husband called everywhere yesterday trying, trying to get a hold of someone about an impatient with him, and it's... 
because he, the he gets the paranoid stuff. Then he won't give his social security number out or his information over the phone because he thinks that they're stealing his information. They come after him. Yeah. Because of the voices in his head. <laughs> yeah. It's a very, very hard situation. <laughs> yeah, and if he doesn't get treatment, it's just going to get worse. I know. And it's not necessarily something that, like, is... I mean, obviously the alcohol is doing it. Yep. So he, he doesn't necessarily need... Maybe drugs, I don't know, but he needs a... The only thing he does is smoke weed. That's the terrible part. That's all he does is smoke weed. And he hasn't been doing that since he ain't had alcohol. Really? Yeah. I thought maybe that would help. I did too. <laughs> he just doesn't have a de desire to... What? Smoke no, when no. he's not... He, he acts completely different. He's a completely different person when he's sober. Like, when he, he's so, when he drinks, he, he's talkative. He's a happy person. When he's sober, th th this, is, this is what it is. But the... <laughs> the crappy thing is, it's like, he's still that person. Yeah. He just has to get over that hump. Yep. You know what I mean? Like. Yep. And they said <sighs> the withdrawals, it could take days, months, <laughs> weeks. It just depends on him. <laughs> and it's so much easier just to be like, you know what, I'm tired of this. I'll just go to. It stinks. I mean, because we deal with people all the time who are like, yeah. they are a pain yeah. when they're drinking. When they're sober, they're completely different. Yep. That only lasts a day or two, and yep. then it's. Like I said, I I know you guys are doing everything you can. I just I just know everybody I've talked to for Gateway. Like the list is so long yeah. around here. Everybody wants to come to the Capitol with all their problems, and they and it's hard. It's hard. Cause we've been doing fighting this for months, months. Like his mom and them thought he was on drugs, and we 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 told him like we're around him 24 hours a day. He's not doing anything. Like yeah. it's we've noticed that the only time he gets like this is when he ha he hasn't had alcohol. And and I know it can be He's done because I used to be a heavy drinker and I'm yeah. like going on like almost seven years sober. I smoke weed. I don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have the occasional drink. <laughs> the smell of it makes me sick. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the problem is, is with the hospitals, like, you know how many people we have in town who are homeless or whatever who are just, they're not right upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. But we can't force them to stay at the hospital. The hospital yeah. can't force them there unless yeah. exigent circumstances for whatever, but. Yeah. I just say keep trying. Yeah. See, see if somewhere in Bloomington or Champaign. Yeah, something I mean, I, he needs to help. Even he if does. they can check him in to get it. Like, maybe getting away from here, getting. Yeah, I was trying to explain to the lady on the phone. Like, I promise there's no weapons here. There's nobody threatening anybody with a gun. Yeah. I keep telling him to fight the voices in his head. They're not there. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, they pick up on everything. So then you telling yeah. him like to chill out. Oh, he came and unplugged the whole TV earlier and carried the whole TV off and said that someone's listening in through on the TV and they're talking back to him. And I'm like, it's the TV talking because I'm watching a movie. Like. <laughs> and this and the scary thing is, is like, this could be temporary. Yeah. But it could also be permanent. Yeah. And. I think he's like going through like the hard stage now with the sweats and. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you can obviously see it. I mean, ambulance can come and try and take him in there, but I mean, obviously his pulse is going to be high and yeah. everything else, heart rate. But I don't know. Maybe has he? How long is the longest he's made it without? Um, last time he he couldn't get through this. He got tired. He couldn't keep going through this, so it was like four days, and he started drinking again. Mm. Right now, we're on day three. And he's a he's a manager of McDonald's. Like mm. he's got a good he's yeah. <laughs> good brain. He's smart. He's just alcohol tears him up. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta get over these two. Cause I'm sure, like day five, day six. Like, you know, it goes to that, that peak, yeah. and then it slowly it starts getting... Get it out of your system. Yeah. And you don't need it to make you happy anymore. You don't need it. Like... Yeah. And that was the problem for the longest he had started drinking, because he lived by himself for so long. And nobody was coming in and visit him. You know, he had nobody. He was by himself every day. Nobody to talk to. Yeah. So, you know, my husband moved in with him, and... Yeah. Trying. You know, thinking that having people around would help. Yeah. No water? Didn't get any water?
been able to get much out of them. This is day three. That was kind of a lot of nice. He was up on his bed and he just rolled off onto the floor after he's been slowly stripping off of his clothes. Some help, bud. Let's take your coat with him. Yeah. I got, I got your coat. Come on. Some wet oh. bullets. Wait. Nope. We're not doing that. We're gonna do that. Only way we're gonna get you is if we walk through the house. Come on, Earl. You're not dead weight. Maybe we are. All right. No, we're just being lazy. Get up. Or you can stay here. If you want to go to the hospital, man, you got to help us out a little bit. Earl, are you going to go or are you going to stay, blood? If you're going to go, you need to get up and walk. What's up? What's up, buddy? You want to go? Alright. Then get up. Come on. Guys, you call them. You obviously know you need the help. You need to get up. You got to use your legs, man. You can't just go dead weight on us. You got to get up. You call them. Obviously, we'll give, you need the help. Get up and go to the hospital. We'll give you the help, bud. You need the help. What hospital are we going to go to? St. John's. Come on. Let's go. Help me up. Let's go. Come on. Help yourself. All right. One, two. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, buddy. Keep it moving. All right. We're moving. We're moving. Let's keep going. One foot in front of the other. Come on, buddy. We got you. We'll hold you up, but you got to walk forward. To get you help. Come on, buddy. We got you. You called him. You need the help. Right, watch the door, I got you. Okay. Atta boy. There you go, we're almost there. Oop! Oop, man, you gotta, you gotta help us out a little bit. We ain't ever gonna get out of this house. Everything works. Guys, you gotta get us to go. We need the help. Don't dead wait up. Alright, Earl. Let's go. Come on. One, two, three. Come on, Earl. Let's go, buddy. Alright, there we go. We got you. Come on. Right out here to your left. Are you freaking kidding me, man? I know you can walk. Y'all you gotta do is get outside. There are cops outside. You call them, get up and go to the hospital. Come on. You can walk, get up. We're gonna leave you here, buddy. We don't wanna do that, but we can't carry you all the way. Earl, get up. You called him, you need to go. Go to the hospital. The ambulance is outside waiting for you. Get up. All you gotta do is walk out that front door. 
Yeah, it's right outside. Wait. Come on. Earl, get up. Is it right outside the door? Earl, get up. Yeah, all he has to do is walk Come on, out there. Okay. All right, we got another 10 feet. 10 feet, my man. Come on. Come on this side. We got 10 feet. We're going to go right to the door, and you can lay down. All right. Yeah, don't do that. All right, there you go. We're doing one swing, though. We're not going to take any more breaks. All right, we got you. Ready? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're right here. Cot's right there. Right there. Keep going, buddy. Push. Keep going. Right there. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, negative. Come on, buddy. Now get up on there, man. Come on, get up on there, old bud. Can't get you there if you don't get on the cot. Get up on the earl. Get on the wheel. Get up there. Alright, we're spinning around. I'm gonna spin them on. Stand up. Stand up. Alright, Earl, this is getting a little silly, man. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Why didn't you put it on your car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 